So good afternoon. Um, I'm Paola Giunti and uh, I'm the head of the Ataxia Center uh, in London and uh, I th really um, would like to share with you the enthusiasm that I have because this is a very exciting time for uh, trial in FA uh, in the UK. So um, we have been a site uh, for uh, the multinational multi-site um, trial with NRF2, the MOXI trials, and has been finished just uh, yesterday. So we're waiting for these results in Bristol. There is also a um, trial with uh, stem cells, and now we are uh, uh, launching the nicotinamide trials. It has been really a uh, gestation of three years, but uh, off we go. This is research for you. Anyway, we are here and we're very excited to say that we are going to start very soon. A little bit of a background uh, of this trial. So <clears throat> the frataxin gene, as you uh, know, um, is due to the mutation that is a, a repetition of the DNA that is abnormal. And th this repetition of DNA seems to be wrapping the gene and silencing the gene. So the gene is switched off. So what we did, uh, Professor Richard Fesselstein in, um, collaborated with uh, myself and um, we uh, looked at the cells of uh, our patients and uh, we saw that with one uh, HDAC inhibitor, there is a, um, a nicotinamide, a vitamin uh, B, so it's very well known, safe. Um, this uh, drug have uh, the potential to upregulate uh, the uh, frataxin. So uh, it pushed the cells to, despite uh, the uh, expansion and despite the silencing, push the cells to produce more, uh, more frataxin. So um, we published this, and thanks uh, to this publication, then we moved on to uh, have a pilot trial. And the pilot trial was uh, um, located at Imperial. Um, ten people uh, with FA were recruited with a very high dose of nicotinamide. So it, uh, something like, you know, 100 times the uh, normal dose. And um, this is something obviously that uh, has uh, side effects, has had side effects because Although some uh, compounds are uh, licensed and they do not have effect um, in small dose, in very high dose can be very dangerous. So we need to, to have this one in a proper controlled way so that if something would happen, then we could immediately intervene for the safety of the patient. So we did not know uh, how much of uh, nicotinamide could be tolerated by a patient with FA. So we did that and we looked at again the blood uh, of our patients and we saw uh, that was a consistent upregulation, so increase of the protein that is lacking in FA called frataxin. So this is uh, now um, a time to move uh, forward from the pilot trial to uh, what we call it uh, phase three. So is uh, the phase in which in addition to the efficacy, in addition to the safety that we could continue to obviously record, we will look as well if this nicotinamide uh, giving at uh, a high dose for two years could modify the progression of the disease. So patients uh, and also Ataxia UK were involved in the way the trial was designed and this is quite important because then um, we listened to the patients as well uh, willingness to participate and how they wanted to be involved. So we did all that and at the moment we are uh, submitting to ethics uh, the protocol. The participant uh, must have so the, uh, an age between 18 and 50. 
the weight have to be above 50 kilos and uh, we need to have a confirmation that they indeed have a, a genetic diagnosis of Friedreich ataxia. We also will look at the level of disability of uh, these patients and uh, the patient needs to have a Sarah score. I'm sure that all the patients uh, who are in this room uh, come to our center are very familiar with Sarah. The one who hasn't, Sarah is basically a rating scale for ataxia. So we have a different score for the way that the patient are walking, standing, the level of uh, the patient's ataxic movement in the arms and uh, in the legs and the speech. So the score is 0 to 40. 0 is uh, normal, but in, you are allowed as a control to have up to 3 and then um, it become uh, pathological and uh, you are uh, ataxic and the score would be 7 to 28 out of 40. 40, it means that um, the patient can't move at all. So, uh, very extreme uh, ataxia. So, and um, the study is a multi-centric and multinational uh, study. Involved the uh, UK, Germany, Austria, Italy, Spain and France. And we are, uh, um, we need to recruit 225 patients. So it's a lot of patients, the majority of which are going to be recruited in the UK. So around 90. Who is in the trial? And the trial is uh, the London Ataxia Center, so a University College uh, London um, Hospitals and Imperial College London. <coughs> And the participant needs to travel uh, to one of these centers um, to go through uh, the inclusion exclusion criteria, the first uh, visit and the recruitment, and finally to go on for uh, um, participate to the to the uh, study. The travel cost will be uh, reimbursed for this, and this is the protocol. So we are going to have a phase A and a phase B. And as you can see here, uh, for uh, months to zero, we are going to have the screening. Patient information will be uh, given to the patient. And then we can collect the medical history, vital sign, physical examination, blood collection, and then the clinical test, like uh, Sarah. Then it's the baseline, and uh, we start at the phase A, and uh, there is a recruited, recruitment for uh, uh, four weeks. We are going to perform vital sign, clinical test, physical examination. We are also adding questionnaires, um, questionnaires about quality of life and others, blood collection, an ECG, and an echocardiogram, because it is important as well to have the heart checked, and uh, we uh, want to explore if the nicotinamide also has an effect on the heart. And then uh, from uh, months 1 to 24, we're going to have the phase B. And this is when uh, there's going to be a randomization and we are going to be blinded. So we don't know and the patient will not know if they are taking the uh, active uh, drug or uh, placebo. So 150 patients will, so 67% will receive the nicotinamide and 75 will not receive the uh, nicotinamide. And we are awaiting uh, the ethics and especially the MHRA approval for, uh, for this drug. Uh, 